Welcome to the first video in a new series that I'm calling Build Log. Uh, this is going to be a weekly update series in which I show more of the behind the scenes development side of the controller building process. Because controllers take so long for me to produce, I realistically can't put out a new video every week. So this is my attempt to provide more content for the community and also provide a learning opportunity for those that are interested in building their own controllers. The other day I was walking through Target and I found this Nerf gun, I believe this is called the Brain Saw, and it looked so much like the Gears of War Lancer rifle that I just immediately knew I had to build a Gears of War controller out of this. So the main features that I'm going to be designing are a trigger for shooting, the pump action for reloading, uh, there will be an accelerometer for aiming similar to the Team Fortress 2 minigun. I've also added this blue arcade button on the front that will enable running when held down. Uh, but additionally, because Gears of War is such a, a movement-based game, when you hold down this button, the accelerometer will no longer cause you to aim. Instead, lunging forward will cause you to dive. Uh, you can dive to the left and right by moving in either direction. Uh, also, if you're in cover and need to move to another side of cover, uh, you can also use the motion controls to dive in and out. And probably the most unique and interesting aspect of this controller is the, the saw on the front, which is actuated by pulling this string here. So the goal is, is when the string is pulled, the Lancer Assault Rifle Chainsaw will be activated in-game. And then the final piece that I haven't actually added yet will be a joystick for movement that will be placed on the back and you can operate with your thumb. So after explaining this, let's open this up and I can show you a bit more on how the insides are being wired. With the cover off, you can actually see there's quite a bit of electronics on the inside. So I'm going to go through each one of these one component at a time and explain how everything works together. The first component I have here is the trigger, which I put a small tack switch behind. So when the trigger is pushed back, the little plunger pushes on the tack switch and will cause the gun to shoot. Similarly, here is the reloading mechanism. Uh, there's a small tack switch also placed, but this one is in the closed position, and when you cock it back, the tack switch opens up, letting the game know to reload, and then will release the button once it's pressed. For the chainsaw component, if I pull the blade off, you can see this mechanism that turns as you pull the string. And again, another small tack switch. In the, closed in the closed position that opens up once it's released. Here is the small arcade button that was wired in. And then up here in the corner we have the MPU 6050 which is the combination gyroscope accelerometer that's used for aiming as well as diving. Aside from the joystick, the only component I have left to place is the microcontroller, which I'll actually be putting inside the handle here so that all of the components will be completely internal and it'll have a really clean looking design once everything is fully assembled. All those miscellaneous wires that I had sticking out will have to be soldered to all of these individual pins and then a single micro USB cable will connect to the header right there. As for a timeline for the controller, we're probably still a few weeks out from completion. I need to add the joystick and finish off all the wiring to the microcontroller. And then once that's completed, I still need to complete all of the coding. Uh, so a couple weeks more. In the meantime, I may possibly produce a few more Smash controllers. I have a couple ideas in mind and a few Amazon orders on the way. That all depends on how busy I am over the next few weeks. I'm also looking for feedback on what you guys want to see out of these build log videos. So let me know what you thought about this first one. If there's more aspects you want to see. Do you want to see the actual construction process or more of just this quick overview? Let me know down in the comments below or in the Discord server, which I'll also link in the description. As always, let me know if you have any controller ideas and thanks for watching.